all the research and science that we do that goes into all the products we sell starts at the R&D department. We work based on client satisfaction. So a client is going to send in a request with a specific requirement and we're going to try to develop a product based on those requirements. For example, recently I worked on developing group A strep and I was required to develop three different concentration levels. To do that, I had to develop different dilution factors until I, would, I get the target CT value for each concentration level. Once this is done, we send test samples to the clients and they test it to make sure that we've met their requirements. And once it's approved, we then transfer the technology, which is called tech transfer, which is basically teaching manufacturing departments how to make this product. And we also teach the QC department how to test this product. So an entry level staff would be either a technician or a technologist. This staff would shadow scientists and learn from the scientists until they're experienced enough to have their own projects. They would also partake in several laboratory techniques such as PCR and uh, DNA or RNA extraction. And all these techniques are used to aid in the development of these quality con control products we make here at Microbix. I thought that what, the only way to work in the life science industry back then was to work in a lab. But working here at Microbix, I have met um, several people that work in other departments, the accounting department, the sales department, the development department that all have a science degree, all have a science background, but there's more to the life science industry than just working in a lab.